all you cool cats and welcome back to another episode of Ye Saint. And we are trying to figure out who, who I assume is Kiergaard at this point, is the Nemo or the Nameless Ripper. And we're, we're hopefully going to figure out in this episode, we're going to cap things off. We're going to catch this guy before he kills anyone. Um, we lost car crash in the last episode, but I mean, it was no big loss there. I hate saying that, but, I mean, it's true. There was not a big loss there. <clears throat> so you don't need us to help you investigate the crime scene. <laughs> this way is more efficient. I'll investigate the crime scene on my own. What should we do, then? I'd like you guys to talk to the other castaways. It might be easier for them to talk to you than an officer of the Roman military. Someone might have information that they'd only feel comfortable sharing with you. I see. That makes sense. Once you're done questioning everyone, let's meet up and discuss our findings. See you later. So... I mean, I already feel like I know who it is. Did you learn anything about the criminal? I'm sorry, but I don't know anything. I haven't a clue. May we have a moment of your time, Dr. Kiergaard? You ask him if he has any information about the incident. Hmm, let me think. First Captain Barbaros was attacked, then Sir Carlin. Nothing about their wounds seemed particularly suspicious to me. If anything, it's more noteworthy that the wounds themselves weren't life-threatening. Oh, is that important somehow? Perhaps, though I don't want to overthink things either. The attacks were warnings. Yes, I can't imagine why the culprit wouldn't have tried to kill them outright, though I suppose Sir Carlin did die later. Maybe the culprit was toying with his victims first to fill them with fear. Perhaps he wanted to slowly chip away at their psyches before he struck again. Ugh! Would someone dubbed the Nameless Ripper really be so methodical? If only we knew his weapon of choice, we could defend ourselves better. I'm afraid that all I know about his weapon is how sharp it is. I suspect it's some manner of bladed implement. I see! Hmm? What's that on your neck, Doctor? Don't tell me you were attacked, too! Oh, this? Haha, <laughs> don't worry. This is just the remnants of a sunburn I received a while back. Haha, <laughs> had me scared there for a minute! Before I ended up here, I was actually staying in a country called Altago. I spent much of my time outdoors doing med medical work in the sun. The Kingdom of Altago? I've heard many stories about it from my father. It's said to be a mysterious land where giant beasts roam. Have you heard of it too, Adol? Tell me more about Altago. Adol explains that he always interested uh, to hear stories about the Kingdom of Altago. Hm, now is not the time for stories of adventure. <laughs> I'm happy to share stories about all I've seen and heard, but should you focus on solving but should you focus on solving this case first? We'll have plenty of time to gab with Kiergaard later, Adol. If you have further questions for me, please feel free to stop by. And please be careful as you pursue this killer. We will, thank you. Thanks for the info, Doc. Yeah, you're pretty suspicious though. It only wants me to really talk to certain people. Like, you notice how he had, like, a... A thing on his head that told me to talk to him. Aha, there's... There's a note. Hummel, you're back. Something wrong? A lot more than something is wrong. Sir Car Crash died while you were gone. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Wait a minute, you disappeared while we were coming back to the village with Lick. And shortly after that, Sir Car Crash got attacked. G 
God, did you... Where did you disappear to? And what were you doing? Sorry, I can't divulge that information. It's not him. It's not him. Captain Barbaros got attacked before, so... Not him. What? Then that means... Just a second, Sahad. Hummel can't be the culprit. He was with us with when Little Peril told us to come back to the village. There's no way he could have attacked Captain Barbaros. Hmm, I see. Do you know who did it? No. Why would you ask me that? Would you really trust anything I said? I would. Well, if you swear you're not the culprit, I guess it's fine. Where did you disappear to all of a sudden? He's not going to tell me. Isn't it obvious? Because I was done working with you. Huh? The crime you're trying to solve is your business. My business lies elsewhere and has nothing to do with you. So why force an unnecessary collaboration? Well, you got us a point, a point, I suppose. I don't think his past actions are relevant to this incident. Let's just leave him alone for now. Okay, let's check inside this cave. Someone here we could talk to. You. Can I help you guys? Yes, we're investigating the incident right now. Do you think you can help us, Licht? Ask Lick if he had any ideas. I don't know. Well, actually, I've been wondering why Sir Car Crash was the first victim. Why him, of all people? Well, it's probably because he was the easiest target. Is that the only reason? Amos was very deliberate about where and when he left his notes. As if his true goal was to sow, sow dread and paranoia among us. Maybe that's what Nameless really enjoys, playing mind games with his victims. Indeed, Sir Car Crash seemed rather mentally distressed by everything. Yes, but now that I think about it, that might have been intentional too. Sir Car Crash already had a reputation for causing problems in the village. The mental trauma of believing his life to be in danger only made those problems worse. And now that he's dead, the village's morale has never been lower. Perhaps... That was the true motive behind Nameless's crime. Nameless is cunning. Mm, now that you mention it. That is a stark possibility. I must say, I'm very impressed by your analytical skills, Licht. Oh, they're nothing special. I'm just the newest member of the village, so it's easier for me to examine this objectively. Oh, really? From where I'm standing, you seem to be a highly educated sort. I agree. If you don't ask, mind me asking, what did you do for a living? <laughs> I was a medical resident, and Kiergaard is the one who did it. You are going to replace Kiergaard. A medical resident? That means he was training to become a doctor. Yes, the attending physician aboard the Lombardia asked me to cover for him. I never imagined I would wind up in this situation. <laughs> what a disaster! <laughs> you could say the same for everyone else here, really. Anyway, we really we greatly appreciate your assistance with this matter, Licht. Let's remember this for later, Adol. Well, sure will. Sure will. There was like... I had like maybe a 5-10% thought that it could be um, your own. But now it's it's definitely not. It's Kiergaard. It seems your investigation is already underway. I'm sorry to always rely on you for everything. <laughs> we don't mind. It ain't your fault at all, Captain. This problem affects the whole village. He asked Captain Barbaros if he remembers anything else. Hmm, let me see. There is one thing. A sense that something wasn't quite right. What do you mean? It happened right when I was attacked. I already told you I couldn't get a clear view of my attacker. That's because he was already a few miles away from me. Huh? That's pretty far for someone to cut you. Yes, it is. It happened so fast, I thought perhaps I was misremembering things. Try thinking outside the box, then. Hmm. After reading Nameless's note, I was convinced he attacked me with a knife. But it could have been something else. Hmm? Looks like this mystery is getting even bigger. 
Still, this might be a useful clue. We should pass this along to Euron. Try to get some rest, Captain. Yeah, she's right. You got your cute little daughter waiting for you back home. If you're not all better when we bring you home, she'll be ticked off at us. <laughs> you don't know how right you are. She's only two years old, but she's very strong for her age. Still. Captain. One of my passengers has fallen victim to a madman. Until this matter is settled, I must fulfill my duty as captain. Please help me make this right. We will. Of course! We'll help you catch that criminal! So I think that's everyone? Yeah. Did we finish talking to everyone? Yes, and I think we've gathered some decent information too. But Euron hasn't arrived to meet us yet. I suppose we can patrol the village while we wait. Huh? What is it? Nothing. I thought I saw someone walking outside the village. Near the entrance, a castaway would know better than to do that. Right, because they were told not to leave the village. If you saw a castaway, we should ask them to return to the village at once. We seem to have some spare time, so let's check it out, Adol. Who is it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? Oh, shoot, he's right there. Is it Euron? <gasps> Am I wrong? Where did he go? Thought I saw him heading downstream along the river. This way. Are you sure? No one is here. What is that? Huh? Wait! Stop! Huh? <gasps> what was that? Don't move. Hold on. Okay. Something cut my neck? How? Over there, Adol! There's something near that tree! Okay. What is it? Thin mid metallic strand of wire yeah that's it what is that it looks like a steel wire what's this doing over here how did you notice this I may not look like it but I've got eyes like a hawk if I can't see a fish in the water I can't keep my family fed what are you guys doing? Who is it? Hi, Euron. Euron! Adol told Euron what had just happened. Steel wire. Do you know what this is? Yeah, but what's this doing here? This is part of a trap used by Roman guerrilla warfare units. Huh? What do you mean? It's a trap that uses a special type of steel wire and tree branches. Oh yeah, this is military grade steel wire. I'm damn sure of it. It shoots out when the trap is stepped on, ripping the poor bastard to shreds. You're lucky that pretty little head of yours didn't go rolling into the grass. My word! So we were being lured into a trap. Well, wait a second. Could the Nameless Ripper be part of the Roman military? Yeah, that seems likely. Huh? But that means... Yeah, why would he tell us this? Hmm? <sighs> Good point. Guess this makes me a suspect. However, if I was Nameless, why would I reveal my methods to you? You're right. Damn. Either way, I don't like this. I have no idea what voice I'm using for him. Where are you going? 
to report to Captain Barbaros and share my findings with you like we agreed. It's the only way I'll clear my name so I can nail the nameless bastard to the wall. Screw with me, will ya? Haha, <laughs> I see. I'm quite certain that Euron is not the culprit either. I swear, I'm getting real sick of that nameless's crap. Still, it sounds like you managed to get some useful information. As Licht said, Nameless likes to play mind games with his victims. We should assume this man is a very intelligent individual. Let's not forget what happened when Captain Barbaros was ambushed. Nameless managed to cut him without being at close range, but that makes sense if he used as a steel if may but that makes sense if he used a steel wire trap instead of a blade. Yes, that's true. Based on his use of these traps, we can surmise that he has a connection to the Roman military. We also need to know whether this person is an outsider or a member of the village. The note being- the notes appearing inside the village makes it so much more likely that it has to be a castaway. I don't know of anyone else here who's part of the Roman military. Then we should consider the possibility that this is the work of an outsider. Well- Kiergaard could have worked in, as like a, you know, a medical officer in the military, perhaps. Either way, we don't want anyone else to become a victim. Say, Loxia, how's your cut healing? It's fine, thanks to Sahad. The cut wasn't that deep. I was planning to ask Dr. Kiergaard to examine it later. Hmm, Dr. Kiergaard is a testament to his profession. The wound I sustained yesterday has been healing well, thanks to him. Wait a minute. I just remembered something funny the doctor said. He said he'd been in some exotic country recently. Huh? Which country? One that Adel's been itching to visit. Oh, geez. What was the name of it again? Altago? Yes, he mentioned having visited the Kingdom of Altago not long ago. Wait, say that name again? Dr. Kiergaard said that he visited Altago not long ago? Is that unusual or something? Damn fool, Altago's at war with the Roman Empire. You can't just come and go there as you please. He's right, even Adol and I haven't set foot on Altago yet. Hmm, only a select few can freely enter Altago. You'd have to be a government official or soldier in the Roman military. Huh? Are you sure about that? Dr. Kiergaard isn't that important. He's not a soldier either. He's, he's just a doctor. A doctor in the military. Maybe he's a field medic? M maybe Hmm, this is starting to make too much sense. But Dr. Kiergaard is such a kind man. He couldn't possibly be. Looks like the dock is away. He was here earlier when we were gathering information. If he's not here, that makes... That certainly makes what I'm about to do easier. Down there, maybe? What are you? Bingo. That's... It's the exact same steel wire in the trap that nearly decapitated you, Loxia. With this evidence, I have no doubt that he's the culprit behind this. Captain! Hmm, this is rather unfortunate. Adel, apprehend Dr. Kiergaard before he claims another victim. Yes, sir. I'm sorry to make you do this. I'm coming with you. Adel, the doctor's probably somewhere in the village. Please be careful. We will. Let's go. Uh, Let's go up on this hill, maybe? <gasps> yeah! What a guess! <laughs> Oh, hello, Adol. Something the matter? Why so serious? <laughs> Why indeed? 
Has someone else been hurt? Nice weather we're having today, Dr. Kiergaard. <laughs> Thank God for that, huh? Now, I don't have to try to apprehend you in the rain. Oh dear, oh dear. Officer Euron. You never got the chance to rendezvous with your partner on the ship, did you? Oh, I'm. this is about to get s <laughs> serious. I knew it. You're the bastard who killed him. Kiergaard. Or should I say, the Nameless Ripper. <laughs> so it was you, Doctor. But why? Bravo! Simply... Beautiful. Oh. Huh? When this began, you castaways were perfect strangers to one another. But look at you now. Look how your bond and trust has flourished. All for the sake of survival. Beautiful, beautiful. There is no better way to describe it. The hell are you talking about? Consider, if you will, an opposing perspective. Had we not washed ashore, had I not made myself a threat, that beauty would have died in the womb. That's absurd! Don't listen to this lunatic. He's a serial killer. Come quietly, Dr. Kiergaard. This is a deserted island. There is nowhere for you to run. What would we even do with a serial killer? We would keep him in a, in a prison? Like, how? How do you even control that? Hmm. There's only one thing we can do with him. Unfor like, you know, of course I would love to uphold justice. But would you really take the time on an island like this to maintain this guy's health so that way he can be, tr like, you know, basically handed over to officials later? We're going to have to kill him. Whoa. What is that? The world needs one such as I to exist. Your unjust treatment is the real cruelty. Are you kidding me? Is he just going to plague us for the rest of the, the game? Damn, he's getting away. Adol, pursue him at once. <whistles> Paro, follow Dr. Kiergaard and report his whereabouts to Adol. Roger, I tell you where Kiergaard is. Good boy, we're counting on you. Paro will guide you along Dr. Kiergaard's escape path, Adol. Please listen to him accordingly. I see. Not bad, Captain Barbaros. Once Stogie and I take care of things here, we'll be right behind you. But what about your wounds? This is far more important. If we lose sight of Kiergaard, he'll pose an even greater threat to us. I want Dogie and the others to guard the village. The rest of us will pursue him. Understood, but please don't push yourself. This is nameless we're dealing with, Adol. Be on guard at all times. Am I going to need to dodge needle traps constantly? Well, let's do this. Care guard east! Care guard east! Okay. Huh? Sounds like he's heading east. Let's hurry, Adol! Well, being that going the other way is like really cutting yourself off I couldn't have imagined him going any other direction. It would have made it easier to capture him, though. Here. 
shadow. We finally caught up. Where's that nameless son of a bitch? We haven't found him yet. I believe Pero is still looking for him. Found! Found! Looks like he came back! Girl? What's he talking about? Huh? Look. Oh, it's the little girl from the... From the captain's quarters. She's not moving. Could she be a castaway? She seems rather young. We gotta act fast or she'll be beast chow. We can't afford to lose any more survivors. Oh, Captain. My leg. This must be one of Nameless's traps. Please be on your guard. Uh, you think he's nearby? <laughs> Knew I made the right choice capturing that lost little urchin. <sighs> Use that kid as bait. Underhanded cur, how dare he! We gotta treat the captain's wound. I wouldn't waste your time. I'm all but certain his femoral artery has been sliced clean through. Even if you treat his wound right away, his odds of survival are grim at best. No. I don't, please. Dr. Kiergaard. No, nameless. Capture him. Oh. Oh. Oh, no! Captain? Drowsiness is a well-known symptom of exsanguination. That makes two victims now. If you bother to count, Sir Carlin, of course. <laughs> and now I shall take my leave. Here. Who knows how many more traps he has set up. Do something about them. I ain't got time for that. The fruit looks delicious. Which way did he go? Did he go this way? Okay. Alright. Listen. I wasn't paying attention. This way. This is a dead end too, isn't it? I knew you'd be the one to pursue me, Adol. I, oh, of course. I could see it in your clear eyes. The passion burning deep inside you. And when I first met you, I could tell at that exact moment. You are a worthy target. You have your sights set on Adol now? I didn't expect the other castaways to survive long on this island. I thought they would fall prey to beasts once despair set in, or they would fight amongst themselves after all semblance of order had broken down. But I was wrong. You, the captain, and the village have given them hope. Everyone has begun to work toward the common goal of escaping this island. It's just so beautiful. It would be so tragic if something terrible were to happen to you or the captain. Why, the mere thought sends a quiver down my spine. That's 
why you attacked the captain? And why you're going after Adol? Not just them. That stuff shirt Carlin, and that little girl, too. You've done terrible things no man should ever do, Doctor. Who are you to tell me what I should and should not do? As one who bears the burden of evil, I took the only normal course of action. My god, he actually calls himself evil. He acknowledges it. The burden of evil. Well... Yes. I am the counterpart to a paragon of righteousness such as yourself, Adol. People can only advance when they have land to tread on. Progress cannot be made without two diametrically opposing forces. Good and evil. With these concepts, we give meaning to society and history. Do you think the world as you know it would still exist without evil? And yet, the existence of evil is seen as a blight to be purged without hesitation. Does that not seem irrational to you? Not really. You're insane. Never thought I'd meet anyone who was rotten to their core. I never expected this conversation to result in mutual understanding between us. After all, the conflict between good and evil is inevitable. Get ready, you two. Go! Guess we're fighting our way out of this one. We cannot afford to lose you, Adol. Let's face him together. History only concerns itself with the results. Therefore, in the name of evil, I will rip my way into the pages of history. The doctor will see you now. Man. All right. I'm gonna finish it. Jesus! Do I look all right? Wait. Learn the dish. In the middle of this fight. I could have sworn I had food. Fish soup. I can keep going. Let's do that. Oh, I didn't drink. I didn't make any more potions, did I? I didn't. It's coming. I got stronger again. Are you still standing? You're more resilient than I expected. I didn't think a mere adventurer, was it, would pose such a challenge. But this island is the perfect breeding ground for evil. I've no intention of letting things end here. Are you kidding me? No. He's gonna get away! Whoa! A steel wire trap. We cannot blindly rush him. Damn! How prepped is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Next time will be much more fun! <sighs> so upsetting. Now then. What? 
The primordial? Oh, please. Do it. <laughs> what is this sensation? Death? Couldn't, couldn't happen, you know, this, this couldn't have happened to a more terrible person, really. Let him go. We'll let him go. We need to go see if we can help Captain Barbaros. Hmm. Well, that was unexpected. Yes. Things certainly took a turn just now. We must hurry back to the captain right away. Let's go, Adol. Yes. That's right. We gotta hurry. Yeah. We gotta go see the captain. back at all it would seem your battle with nameless is over how's the captain doing well it's just as nameless said the wound is indeed fatal i'm sorry oh no this is terrible Something we can do. I'm sorry, Laxia. I know I told everyone that we'd make it off this island alive. Don't say that. Hang in there, Captain. You promised we'd all see our families again. Think of your daughter. I'm sorry, Saad. I guess I can't keep that promise. Ugh. Th this just ain't right. Uh, Adol, I'm sorry. But I need you to do something for me. One last promise. Oh god, my eyes are watering up. Please. You must get everyone off this island. Alive. I will. I know you can do it, Adol. I promise. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Their fate is in your hands now. Castaways mournfully laid Captain Barbaros to rest. One by one, with tears in their eyes, they bid farewell to the man who had been the pillar of strength to their com island community. Though the nameless incident had been resolved, the shadow of the giant primordial lurking in the sea loomed over all thoughts of escaping the island. And Castaway Village is, was still in constant danger of being attacked without warning by the Primordials. But despite the pressing matters, in that moment of 
captain's death eclipsed all of their concerns as outpouring of grief sprang forth from each castaway. Oh man. Well, I don't feel great. Chapter 2, The Castaway Banquet, Finn. 